What is up, Dream Team? So, I will be doing 100 push-ups. I am leaving a vacation today, but I'm still going to do my 100 push-ups. So, let's get it. And 50 squats. There's tons of other businesses that you can absolutely demolish who are making lots of money just by doing the basics. And if you execute on that for 10 years, your business grows by default because your competitors won't do that. Growing businesses is hard because it's different than people expect it to be. The singularity of focus is so important. We get presented opportunities every single day that could distract us. And the thing is, the bigger you get, the bigger the opportunities that get presented to you. So the harder it is to say no. I'm gonna tell a quick story about the woman in the red dress that I'm gonna relate to business. In The Matrix, one of my favorite movies, there's the woman in the red dress and so it's one of the training programs that Morpheus takes Neo on uh, the main character to teach him one simple lesson and so they're walking through a crowd it's normal New York lots of people everyone looks different and then there's this woman in this red dress and Neo's head turns and Morpheus is still talking to him trying to teach him a lesson right and then he looks back and Morpheus is like were you listening he was like what he's like were you looking at the one in the red dress and he says look again he looks back at the woman and it's Agent Smith pointing his head the thing is is I see distractions and new opportunities and shiny object as the woman in the red dress and at every level of business the woman in the red dress becomes more and more attractive because at first you have to say no to a thousand opportunities then ten thousand then a hundred thousand and you have to learn how to say no again at every level because I thought that once I learned how to say no to the one in the red dress I'd be done forever but that's not true she comes back every level she just gets hotter and hotter and hotter i used to think that like innovation was everything and i think innovation is important in very very small degree but the vast majority of the business success is actually doing all the stuff that you know you should be doing but you aren't a friend of mine has a wife who's really popular and they have literally 60 businesses he has an excel sheet to keep track of all the businesses he has and i think they make about total between everything maybe eight figures a year and some of you be like oh that's amazing but hear me out so we're having this long conversation and i just said you know if there were a magic wand and you could snap your fingers and eliminate all businesses but one, how easy do you think it'd be to grow that business? He was like, oh my God, it would be so easy to grow that to like 30 or 50 million. I was like, then why don't you do that? And he said that that question has messed with him for an entire year. And he has, since that conversation, shut down business after business after business after business so that he could focus on the one that he thought was the biggest opportunity. Mark Zuckerberg didn't have side hustles. If you do one thing and you do it right and you do it all the way, you can get as big as you want. You can have a long going business that covered the entire United States. You could do that. You could have a cosmetics business that covers the entire United States. You could have whatever type of business you want that covers everyone if you waited for a long enough period of time and didn't get distracted. It's one of my favorite quotes is by Neil Strauss. He said, success comes down to doing the obvious thing for an uncommonly long period of time without convincing yourself you're smarter than you are. It's the details that pay the dividends, the depth and the nuance of understanding how to do. I always say that too. I always say it's all in the detail. I actually just placed a bid in for a, a job and uh the another company went in a couple hundred lower than i did and i said hey look there may be a lower cost but i guarantee you the quality it'll show and in, in the, there'll be a difference in the quality so it's all in the detail and they agreed they said yep so we made the deal it's all in the detail and so, for example, right now, obviously lots of opportunities that we have, I still don't feel like we're doing the basics. If we're not on every platform, why are we thinking about starting a new business? If we're not hardcore email marketing regularly and providing value, why are we going to start another business? If we're not even building the SEO ad on our site, why are we doing That's something 50, baby. If we haven't completely built out the sales training for our sales team to keep their, their execution high, why are we thinking about doing other, other things? And so, so many entrepreneurs that I see who are talking about how they want to grow their business and do this next new thing or this exciting add-on aren't even doing the basics and the thing and i've said this before but being advanced means that you never don't do the basics and if you're like well alex that's going to take so much time for me to do each of those things welcome to building a big business because big businesses do the same things little businesses do but they do them better and they fill the holes in the bucket and so if you were to think about a business as a bucket and you've got water pouring in the top which is the traffic or the eyeballs or whatever and then the bucket is what you're keeping right so the first thing that you're going to do if you want to grow the amount of water you have in the bucket is you don't have multiple buckets what you're going to do is probably fix the holes in the bucket you got number one fix the bucket number two once you fix the bucket increase the flow to the bucket once you've done that and you've completely maximized that then you add new flows but most people have never done that and so the moniker that i remember about this is better more 
new. And so whenever I'm thinking about our business or our businesses in the portfolio, I think, have we maxed out better yet? If we haven't uh, maxed better yet, there's no uh, point in incurring the risk of more uh, new because more is riskier than better. Better is the lowest risk opportunity that everyone has. Do what you're currently doing, do it better. Follow up faster, follow up more, make better copy, make better creative, optimize your site, hire better people, train them better, have better management systems, better incentive systems, but you're like, but oh, that sounds so boring. Welcome to growing big shit. It's how you do it. You literally fill all the holes in the bucket that you know you should be doing but aren't. If you were to make a list of the top 25 things that you could do in your business that you are not doing, the obvious things that you know would make you more money. If I emailed more, I'd make more money. If I did more reach outs, I'd make more money. If I made more content, I'd make more money. If I trained my sales team more, if I did more call reviews, I'd make more money. If I did reorganize our customer onboarding process, if I created a better cadence or training for our customer support team or customer success team, we'd make more money. Put out every single one of the obvious bullets that you have that you know will grow your business. Instead of doing the new thing, do those first. And once you finish that list, what you will see happen, and this is why it's spiritually difficult as an entrepreneur, because we stopped doing the old thing, we started the new thing, and we got reinforced in that behavior. And so we learned the wrong lesson. We learned that when we start new things, good things happen. And so we think we should start new things. This is where it's difficult, and we have to learn at each level. You start the new thing, and you got rewarded. But now, if you start another thing, you will get punished. And some people never unlearn that first lesson. And so you have to switch from new to better, because the innovation already happened when you got the product market fit. As soon as people start buying the thing you're selling, that's when the new needs to end for a while because now you just need to do better and more. So you fill the holes in the bucket with all the better and then you do more. Then you go from one piece of content a day to five pieces of content a day. Damn. One sales guy. That's a hundred, baby. Let's go. Video editor to five <sighs> video editor. All right. Now do some squats, one, squats then, baby. Businesses will grow by default and they will beat their competition if they do everything their competition does but better. Because what happens is most entrepreneurs will divert resources from their core things. Think about the two paths. Boring entrepreneur number one who finally finds product market fit. People like the stuff that they're selling. And then they say, I'm not going to do anything new for the next five years. All I'm going to do is do this better and do more of it. That's all I'm going to do. And then you think about the other guy who says, oh, we got some product market fit. Fantastic. Now I'm going to sell something else. And I get to get my rocks off, get my jollies off over here, thinking about all this new stuff, all this new marketing, all this new product, while the other business starts to wither away a little bit because atrophy starts happening. Because the things that were there were you're overseeing it aren't happening anymore anyways and not only that it's never improving and cost of media goes up cost of talent goes up and the business is literally getting worse Let's go, over baby. time if you're not improving and so you got these two entrepreneurs and this guy is diverting resources that would have been allocated back to the same bucket to fill the holes as instead taking some of that and trying to build another bucket over here meanwhile the holes are getting bigger in the first bucket because it's getting worse and worse and worse and so then they find themselves with five buckets that are all tons of holes in them they don't have the bandwidth to actually go to the one bucket and fix it and that's when i asked the magic wand question so right now if you have multiple things going on how easy would it be to grow your business if i could wave a magic wand snap my fingers and everything ended except for one pretty easy right so why not stack the chips in your favor the thing that makes it hard is the discipline you have to have not the concept Strategy is easy, execution is hard. It's the execution risk that is the much bigger risk for most businesses. If you deliver dry cleaning that is always clean, always, and always on time, you'll have an exceptional business. The strategy isn't complicated. It's the execution is where everyone fails. But this is the thing is that the strategy is the new and exciting thing. People allocate tons of attention, tons of time to new strategies, new ideas, rather than making the obvious truth of if I deliver everyone their clothes on time and they are always perfectly clean, this business will work. One of the things that we do when we're growing the business after understanding better more new when we think about anything that we're growing is what are the need to believe what do we need to believe for this to grow we need to believe that people will always want things fast so is that something i want to bet on Yes. People always want a good product so that we clean their clothes perfectly every time. Do I believe that that's something that people want in the future as much as they want today or more? Yes. People will always want good service. Do I believe that that's something people want in the future or in the day? Yes. It's one of the beautiful things is that when you enter a marketplace, something as boring as dry cleaner, boring as lawn care, boring as whatever, is that oftentimes you're actually not competing against the smartest people in the world. The smartest people in the world are on Silicon Valley all trying to make the next platform. But there's tons of other businesses that you can absolutely oh. demolish who are making lots this of money just by doing the basics and what makes them basic oh. is how hard they are to understand. But what makes you advance is how well you execute them. Like, it's not hard to conceptualize that you take it's 10 not hard. each guy makes 200 calls a day. It's 2,000 calls a day. It's not hard to conceptualize that. How well did you train them? How well did you recruit them? Anyways, point being, this is another thing that I've always said. Be the best. Be the best, baby. No matter what, you just want to be the best. There's no way you're going to fail if you're just the best at what you do. No way. Same thing. So, all right. Dream team. I do it for you, I do it for me, I do it for we, the people, let's go.